you and I are at a school cafeteria and I have this fig bar with me. I give it to you. I give you the fig bar, you receive the fig bar. Now I don't have the fig bar and you have exactly one fig bar. Transactions done. Straightforward, right? We don't want anyone to verify what just happened. You have the fig bar and I don't. Now imagine that instead of that fig bar, I have a digital fig bar. Now this is just a bunch of numbers in a computer file attached to an email and I send it to you. Now you have this digital fig bar and I don't, right? Because I sent it to you. Not exactly. Now what if I sent that email and carbon copy 10 other people? And what if I kept a copy for myself? The one I sent you could be the fake one, right? This is the essential problem that digital currencies have always had and that cryptocurrency now solves and what makes it so special. Now, if you could have had your best friend Jimmy be by my side to verify that I only emailed you this digital fig bar and no one else, you'd be satisfied, right? But your best friend can't always be by my side to verify this. And what if I gave him 10 bucks to lie for me? So instead, cryptocurrency solves this problem in an even better way. What if the general public was by my side to verify that I indeed sent this digital fig bar to you? Now everyone would be there to tell you that I cheated if I tried. And I couldn't pay everyone 10 bucks, I couldn't afford it. And no one person would be responsible for this verification. So they could not collectively collude with me. The Bitcoin protocol solves the issue of verification in a very similar way. Every transaction that has ever happened with a Bitcoin is recorded in something called a blockchain. This blockchain is made public and open source so that anyone can see it. And whenever a new transaction occurs in the Bitcoin, a new block is added to the chain. That's why it's called a blockchain. All the blocks are transactions and they make up a chain. And this has to be verified by everyone else. So as long as people agree that the transaction took place, it is allowed. And this public verification is what ensures the honesty in the system and makes this digital cryptocurrency valid and actually more reliable and powerful in many ways than real currency because there's no one bank or one government assuring its authenticity. The general public is assuring authenticity. It's kind of a social authentication and that is what makes it very powerful. Hey guys, Arvinash here. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like and share. Let's make the world smarter together.